Hey guys, what is up? It's Mr. Ben Hazard here with my brand new series which is called Underrated. Um, this is going to be a massive series on my channel now where I go through all the leagues and pick out and build a squad of all the underrated players in that team. Might even do like gold, silver and bronze um, on this. But today we're doing the Nomina Gold Premier League team as the first episode and so we start off in net with Arthur Borok, who's got 80 diving, 81 reflexes as his standout stat. For 350 coins, he's an absolute brilliant goalkeeper. Um, he's got some, he's pulled off some great saves in match stuff. And just everywhere, to be honest, he's a brilliant little keeper. Uh, moving on to the first centre back, we have uh, Sebastian Basson. Uh, he's got 74 pace, 74 defending, and 80 heading. Now, what a stat 80 heading is for this kid. He's absolutely brilliant on this game. He was a silver last year, if any of you played it, and he absolutely just was phenomenal, uh, to be honest with you. And this year he has gone down a bit because now he's in non-round gold, but still a brilliant player on this game. Moving on to the second centre back for this team, we have Winston Reed, who's got 73 pace, 75 defending, and 76 heading. I think that is. Um, he's Another brilliant player. I was going to get his inform, but I thought it was no point because it's just a mate. It's like a, a a card version. I will do like an inform squad later on in this series, but for now it's just the cards. So here's in the other centre back. To left back we go uh, with David Davide Santon, who's uh, 81 pace, 75 dribbling, 73 defending, 71 heading, and 74 passing. Now they have some absolutely brilliant stats on a non-rare gold card. Um, so he is very much worth the 400 coins that you pay for him he's absolutely brilliant and a very underrated uh, player on this game moving to the right back we have uh, Shase Ritha uh, I think is how you pronounce his name he's got 77 pace 73 defend, tr 73 dribbling 72 defending and 70 heading and also 76 passing He's a brilliant player. He's more well known than the other, some of the other players in the team because of uh, we got a team of the season last year, or a team of the season consistent, I think it was. Uh, anyway, he got one of them, and he got a couple of informs as well, and he's already got one this year. So he's a brilliant player. Um, with 750 coins to pay, he is absolutely brilliant. Moving on to the right midfield, we have Robert Snodgrass. Now, my best mate is a Leeds fan, and he will tell you that this guy is brilliant but um, since he moved to Norwich he's even improved in more he's got 72 pace 81 dribble and 74 shot and 72 passing and shame that on force of skills but for 300 coins you don't get much better than that for the right for a right mid position so moving on to the first and second season mids we have Jordan Henderson now this guy is got some brilliant attributes on him for 300 coins he gets 75 pace, 75 dribbling, 71 shot, 77 passing and 71 heading and for 350 coins he's brilliant. Last year he was also a silver and he he's absolutely brilliant. He's got high work rate and high defensive work rate, high defensive and high attacking work rate. He was a silver last year for about 25,000 coins and his also white was on has gone down a bit because of his the new card thing but he's still a brilliant player. Second centre midfielder we have Marco Van Ginkel who's also worth 350 coins and has got 78 pace, 76 dribbling, 70 shots, 75 passing and 71 heading. Four star weak foot, three star weak skill moves, 350 coins, a new Chelsea centre mid. Haven't seen him play for him for Chelsea yet. Um, he might have come as a sub or something but I haven't really seen much of him. He's got high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate and he's a, a, another brilliant set of attributes on his card for the Paris price you pay. On to the left midfield we have Jonas Gutierrez. Now he doesn't have as good attributes as some of the other cards but for left midfield in the Premier League you don't get, you either get brilliant or you get not as great. And this is one of the better ones. It's either him or Chris Brunt. But he's got 71 pace and 79 dribble and 70, uh, 79 passing. Uh, 150 coins, that's still a brilliant bargain. Very underrated also. Chris Brunt didn't have any pace or dribble, so I thought I wouldn't put him in the team. The first of two strikers, we have Fabio Barini. Now, he's a bit more well-known because he played for Liverpool, but um, he's got 79 pace, 76 dribble, and 71 shot, and 71 heading. Now, the, the attributes you need for a striker are pace, shot, and heading to me. And he's got also high attacking work rate and high defensive work rate. Now, for a striker, that's pretty decent. You usually get low 
defensive work rate on strikers, but he's an all-round engine. If you put like an engine on a maestro card on him, something to increase that passing, and then you'll be have a brilliant striker in your hands. The other striker and the last player in this team is Nikola Jelovic. He's got 75 pace, 70 dribbling, 76 shot, and 73 heading, plus a four-star weak foot. Now, for 350 coins, he is also a brilliant player. Very underrated. See, he has got medium height, medium on both work rates. Um, deservedly, should be a bit higher than that. But that is the first set of team, guys. If you have enjoyed, do leave a like. Um, the next episode will be out um, soon. I'm not sure, quite sure when. But thanks. Do hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all in a bit. Cheers, guys.